Also, the big announcements, of course, uh, on Tuesday were concerning the transfer portal. I believe there were five. Paul Tyson, from a legacy standpoint, uh, five games he mopped up, 16 pass attempts. But seems to be the most feedback concerning Trace Sanders and um, and 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 his um, just his potential as a five star coming into the the program and and what he could have contributed. Well, absolutely. When you look at Drew, uh, Drew Sanders, Drew Sanders, here, Sorry. Drew Sanders here at linebacker, that, that that's the one that really kind of puzzled a lot of fans because uh, he was starting to come on before he got hurt with the hand injury there against Ole Miss. But this is what happens when uh, a Dallas Turner emerges. And uh, Dallas Turner has been on a tear the back part or the, the latter half there of the season, looking like Will Anderson 2.0, if you will. He had a monster postseason, played well against Georgia in the SEC Championship, played well against Cincinnati in the Cotton Bowl, and just really turned it on against Georgia again on Monday night, had two sacks in that matchup. So seeing the way Turner played, Drew, kind of, Drew Sanders kind of recognized the writing on the wall you know, Turner's going to be really good. And if Turner's going to be really good, I may not have a spot here. So he's going to see where he can best possibly fit in at. But uh, Paul Tyson in the portal, Drew Sanders in there, King Wakuda in there, Tommy Brown offensive lineman in there, Jamil Billingsley in there, the latest big name, Jalen Moody, uh, the former three-star in the 2018 class from Conway, South Carolina, is now in there. It's at six big names. And then you have five walk-on names, Braxton Barker at quarterback, Stone Hollenbach at quarterback, Brayman Lanier, a defensive back, uh, Colin Bryant there, a tight end, and, a, and, a, and another guy, a defensive back in there as well. So six marquee names and then five walk-ons there in the portal but th this is what happens when uh, you know coach Saban when you bring in so many massive recruiting classes and I've said this before uh uh Mark in Alabama when you're coming at specific positions sometimes you have to pop quickly and if you don't pop quickly you find yourself getting buried and unfortunately when you find yourself getting buried you have to locate you know what's the next potential home for me in terms of college football because in addition to Sanders, the name that pops out to me is Tommy Brown because he was a big four-star out of California, correct? He played at Modern Day High School. He played right, right. there. And, and what's interesting is he actually uh, filled in for an injured Javion Cohan at left guard in the game against New Mexico State, and they actually did a pretty good job. So that, that was another one that kind of puzzled me a little bit, especially when uh, losing Evan Neal – to the NFL draft, you have to figure out two, both of your tackles in spring ball. You have to figure out, you know, both of your guards. I mean, I mean, you bring back Ekior and Javion Cohan, but both of those two were up and down at times this, this past season here. And then you have Seth McLaughlin at center, but not only McLaughlin, you also have Darian Dalcourt coming back. So this offensive line you're going to have to figure out who are the best five guys to put out here on this field. And I would have loved to have seen Tommy Brown be one of those five guys. But, you know, unfortunately, he's he's trying to find where he can play and be the guy at. 